Paul, how, how uh, tough of a night is it for you tonight? I know this is a fight that you wanted to be you know, competing in, and you're going to have to watch instead. So how, how difficult is it for you? No, it's not difficult. It's not tough to me. It's, I'm enjoying, you know? Like, uh, I'm on, it's like a pie, you know, to me. So I'm just enjoying the night and look who, who, who will be my next opponent. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> what you know, because I'm in a position of champion. You know, the guys will make a, a tie eliminator right now. So I'm waiting for, for those. I like it. That's a good attitude. What's the update? The health update? How's the bicep? What's the progress? I'm, I'm, more, I'm better than 100%, I can say. I'm 110% right now. I, I, I did a, a good training of boxing today, light sparring. With Logan Paul. What? Logan Paul. What? <laughs> <laughs> he came to train on FCPI. He's good, man. He's good. He's no joke. And uh, was was nice. Was nice. But you so I'm 100 percent right now. So, but you know, someone said you said you were healthy before, right? I mean, uh -huh. You said you were healthy before, and it turns out you weren't so healthy. So now I'm 100 percent. Huh? Really spar with Logan Paul? Not spar, you know, just toji. Just, you know, not, not, not heavy spar, you know, just enjoy. You good? It's good. <laughs> you, you said, I mean, you're in the position of champion, you know you get the winner. Would you prefer it be Adesanya? I mean, given the things he says about you, given the history, yeah, would because, you prefer it be that yeah, one? Yeah, because against Adesanya is personal, you know. It's not just for the fight for the belt or for money or something like this. No, it's personal. But I can't I can do, a, I can give a rematch to Romero also, you know. I think against Romero it could be a very, very, very nice fight also. Has Israel crossed the line, you think? I mean, this is the day of promotion and trash talk to get people interested, right? I mean. Is, is what he's doing just promotion and trash talk? Because you said Who? it's personal. I designed it. No, I think no. I think he, he's not respect the guy, you know. But yeah, he's not the respect the guy. Yeah. So that's it. Oh, there's a certain time that but, I But the problem, the, the only problem against the designer is because he's afraid. I need to remember, he asked John John to fight against him. John John said, yes, let's do. Dana White agree, and he know, and I decided to say, I need two years to train him. So, be careful because he's afraid. If he get to him tonight, he can avoid this fight against me. I think the most scared champion there has been yet yeah. is one thing you said. Yeah. He is. So there's a certain date and time I think you guys want to have the winner. Do you want to say, or maybe your manager, Pauline, can say when that would be for a uh, fight with whoever wins tonight with you? Sorry, sorry. My next fight? Yeah. Uh, I can't I can, I can fight on two months, you know, just start my camp. I start, I start, I start already. I but, mean, but UFC promised July 11th. Yeah. You know what I mean? The he best, the best day. You. This is, you need to be clear. He need to be clear. Yeah, the July 11th, who won tonight? He's going to fight against him, they fight to each. Yep. This is going to be the biggest show in the, in the year. And he will to shock the if, world again. If uh, the son don't avoid. No, but he, he cannot let him avoid. The press is not going to let. Because if he avoid, he need to change the sport. No, but he's simple. scared, you know. The press need to push that. You know what I mean? I, I don't say that he... he uh, John Jones is another kid. Tell, oh, I fight you. Oh, I need two years. In all the days, he's done. But okay. <laughs> So okay. you guys, you do have a verbal agreement with the UFC, July 11th? Yeah. How do you see the main event playing out tonight? Huh? How do you see the main event playing out tonight? I think Romero has more chance until the third round. After that, he can feel a bit tired, you know? I, I really don't know. He's really? Actually, I don't care. He's extremely durable. Is he? The toughest guy that what? you've ever been to. What? He's very durable. Uh. Romero is hard to finish. Is he the toughest guy you've uh, seen in there? Yes. Sure. How would you say? He, he's the only guy that I I, I not finished. I, I I went the fight uh, to Five the ju, you know to the Judas hands. The, the only fight that I not finished before the third half. 
Homer, his, his stuff, of course. Would it be similar with you and Adesanya that early would be most dangerous for him and that late might be difficult for you with the cardio and the energy levels in round four, round five? You mean I'm looks like Homer? Would you, would, you, would you tire a little bit? I mean, do you feel like you have to get it done early? Against no, Adesanya? I think, I, I believe I have more energy. You know, my guess is better than him. You have no fear going five rounds? No. Really not. My, in my last, my last fight, I push hard. Uh, I, I start, re I start push hard for until the first, uh, the first round, until the last round. But one fight of five rounds, I will be more cool, you know. I will not go 100% on the first minute. So that's it. Everybody who has a lot of muscles cannot go so hard on the first round. If you if you if you have to fight for five rounds, you know, so you need to be smart. And you I am. Yourself better this yeah, time. of course. So what's per if it's Adesanya, what's perfect for you to go knock him out in 30 seconds and be champion, or to drag it out and hurt him a little bit, maybe make him pay for for the personal issues? If I I fight against Adesanya, I will kill him with him, you know. Just hurt him. And when I, I when I I want I finish him. What does it mean for Brazilian MMA to now have uh, potentially one champion? You know, he just has to fight again. He just fought last week with Davidson. Then we've got Aldo up there, and then we've now got you who's looking to fight for a title. What does it mean for Brazil to have all this going on with these titles? What does it mean for you to uh, bring this up? It's me a lot to me because I have a one nation behind me support me and pressure also you know you know let's go there we need a, a champion and uh, but I feel comfortable I don't feel bad with this you know I'm I look for motivation to keep push hard and to become a next champion from Brazil your English is getting better. Are you taking classes or what are you, what are you doing? No, I'm just speaking English all day when I come to America, so now it's a little bit better. Thank you. Paulo, did you watch the other Brazilian tonight in Bali, uh, Rodolfo Vieira, the Jiu Jitsu team champion? Were you impressed with him? Maybe he could no. be a future opponent for three years? No, unfortunately, I don't. I saw right now the Alex Oliveira, cowboy. He's very tough, very strong, he's very good. Big heart, true wild heart. But I I knew I knew uh, Rodolfo Rodolfo get to win and I have for him. But one thing that he forgot to, to mention, when he fought Yoel, he have the problem in his arm. Remember you don't yeah. don't tell this. You imagine now if he's gonna fight Yoel hundred percent. Don't forget that. That's Big scare. Yeah, have, have the the last fight, he yeah. had 40% or 50%. I was... One, one half and half, one arm and half. <laughs> yeah. I was eight months out just doing physiotherapy for this arm, but now I feel very good. I feel more strong than ever. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, guys. Bye-bye, bye-bye.